Good morning, Matumka, and welcome back to WHTV. I'm Kendall Bonet. And I'm Dustin Bracknell. If you're an AP student and plan on taking the AP exam, make sure you have filled out the AP form given to you by your AP teacher. The day to turn in your form is tomorrow. Tennis trials will be held after Thanksgiving break. The tryout for boys is scheduled for November 30th and December 1st, and girls will try out December 2nd and 3rd at 3.30 at the Wetumpka High School Courts. If you have any questions, see Coach Walker in D5. Golf season for Wetumpka High School is quickly approaching. Tryouts will be December 3rd through 4th at the Pines Golf Course in Millbrook. Students from grades 7 through 12 will be eligible to try out, but must bring a copy of their current physical. Students that are trying out must bring their own golf equipment, clubs, golf balls, and etc. Tryouts will consist of nine holes with no more than 10 strokes per hole, and the team will be determined off those scores. Students who try out must be addressed appropriately according to standard golf course and weather conditions. Any further questions about golf tryouts may be directed to Coach Hutto in E11. This past Saturday, our Indians robotic team participated in the best robotic competition. Taking place in the old gym, teams from across our region competed in a competition to build STEM education through real life situations. This year's competition was focused on stopping the spread of disease. Notable rewards that the team won were first in video design, first in team exhibit presentation, second in the robot competition, and second best overall. Make sure to congratulate your robotics team. The Indians 2020 basketball season kicked off for Varsity this week, taking Trinity and Holtville on both their homes. Both Varsity teams came up with wins against both opponents, making for a great start to the season. Now for this week's Athlete of the Week with Gavin Baxley. Hey Gavin! I'm here with Austin Johnson from Wetumpka Basketball. Austin, what is your favorite thing about basketball? Um, personally, my favorite thing about basketball is like what people bring to the team. and like Everybody's not the same. Everybody brings different stuff. I think that's what brings the fun in basketball. So coming off of a rough season last year, how do you and the team look to improve? Last year, uh, we didn't lose that much seniors, so and I think basketball revolves around chemistry too. And so having like the same players come back, you know like what each other is good at. And I feel like going in the next season, that's going to be good for us. And I think we're going to start off strong. So obviously this year is a bit different with COVID-19. So how has the coronavirus pandemic affected you and the team? It hasn't been that bad. Uh, not a lot of people have had COVID. Our coach has come down with COVID actually, but he's coming back. He's going to be here for our first game. But the only difference is how you have to get checked for temperature every time before practice. But I mean, I think we're all adjusting to it and it's not that bad. So do you have any goals and expectations for this season? Yeah, a goal that our team has is obviously to try to win area and try to make it to state, but just have a good season, um, have a winning season, have fun with it also. Right. Well, thank you, Austin. Good luck this season. Thank you. Back to you guys. 2020 has been a year like none other, but recent developments show that relief may finally be on the horizon. With reports showing an effective vaccine last week, new reports now show a second vaccine. This vaccine is nearly 95% effective and is another big step in the fight against COVID-19. Remember that next week is Thanksgiving break and that no classes will be held throughout the week. On November 13th, a call out was made by Dr. Slater to all Wetumpka High School parents. Dr. Slater dispelled all rumors that the school will be canceled following Thanksgiving. In the call, Dr. Slater also notified all students and parents that all changes to or from virtual schooling must be made by December 4th. It was also stated that spring class and teacher assignments are subject to change. No definite information is available at the time, but students will be updated as soon as final decisions have been made. That's going to do it for this week's episode of WHTV. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Kendall Bonet. And I'm Dustin Bracknell. And from everyone here at WHTV, Happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving!